Hi everyone, it's Anne from Curious Moon Design. So last time I was just finishing off this page in the museum archival journal. So now I'm moving on to decorate some of these other pages. I've got a pocket to do here and I want to do a double pocket further on today. So what I thought I would do here, I have this coffee tea stained paper and I've got some script on it. And what I thought I'm going to do, this is quite a deep crevice here, I'm going to put a lot of glue just in there and crease this well and pop it in there to make an additional page. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I'm going to try it. And then there's some more journaling space there to write on. So that's what I'm going to do with that piece. This pocket, I thought I would use some of the collage paper that I've got on, tracing paper. Maybe put that on the pocket or I could use one of the papers I have and as I did further back um, make a pocket by sticking this on and then having the top part on this page. I think that would be quite an interesting pocket with these glasses on and there's a zodiac sign and a pocket watch. So that would be quite nice on there. I could put this on this side but I'll see what it I'll see what the pocket looks like first. So that's what I'm going to do there. And then further on, which is past the little box I've made, I have a double pocket. So this one, I thought of using this page. And again, cutting it so that it covers the pocket area. And then I may use something different on the background, like an invoice. That might go quite well together. So I'm going to cut those and play about with them. And I'll come back and show you how I'm getting on. A lot of cutting and sticking to go on. So I've put a couple of clamps on the page. I'm going to put the glue in and and I'm just using some PVA glue. So this might be a complete disaster, but we'll see. So I'm going to poke that in there. And using a tried and tested finger. that there. don't want anything on the edge of the paper. That might make it difficult to open. Right, I'm just going to pop the page in there. And I'll leave it like that stood up for a little while just so that it takes I'll probably just get rid of the excess there well, I haven't seen this done this way before there's probably a reason for that <laughs> it doesn't work very well but we'll see
Right, we'll leave that to dry now. Well, I had a break from filming then because my husband knocked on the door to see if I'd like to go for a ride on the motorbike. And of course, I did. So we had a lovely trip out, saw the sea, and I've come back all refreshed. Now, I've stuck these pages on here. They've gone a little wrinkly, but that gives an aged effect, I think. Now, I can't decide on whether to put the collage paper underneath. It looks, looks nice, but then so does the writing. So I may use the collage paper elsewhere. So for the moment, I'm just going to put a paper clip here and then decide later. Perhaps if you've got any opinions, pop them in a comment below. Let me know. It's quite nice to give some time, isn't it, to these things just to make sure you're happy with them. But I chosen some tags that I made a while back on another video and I think they'll go quite nicely in there and then this one in here and perhaps it doesn't need any more of a background it's quite nice having the pale background there shows up the tags well so I'll leave those for now so where have we got to. I think we've done quite a lot. We started here. This worked quite well. That's stuck in really well and I'm able to turn the pages. So I've got some nice journaling space there. And then this one made another nice pocket there stuck that down. I think I'm going to pop butterfly on there and I have a tag ready to go in there. And I made this, if you saw the video in the week, I made these cards. Um, we thought he looked like the benefactor of the museum. So I'm going to give him pride of place there. And these two colours here complement each other, so I think that'll go quite nicely there. That'll finish that off. And then what did we have? We've gone past the secret box and did this one, which I'm very happy with. I may put some more stickers on here, but you'll see those on the final flip through. So I hope you enjoyed that and if you did please press the subscribe button and the like button and come back and see us next time when I'll be crafting with paper and fabric. Bye for now everyone.